My name's John Mendez and we're just going to have a little exercise in seeing how can we move the boat sideways. A lot depends on the style of boat you've got. We've got outdrives and a bow thruster and on this we've also got a joystick. But a lot of these techniques will work with shafts as well. So we'll show you three little techniques. First one we're going to do with just the wheel and the engines. So I'm going to push the bow of the boat in using the wheel and the engine, reverse it out slightly and then wiggle it using the engines and the wheel to make it move laterally across the other side of our little area. Then we're going to bring it back and then we're going to do it with the joystick because the joystick on this boat is pretty reasonable. It's on outdrives again so it's a fairly new invention and that should just allow us to move the boat laterally sideways. When you do you tend to lose the bow a little bit on the wind so we'll have a little straighten up, get ourselves to a nice comfy position and then we'll bring her back. And then lastly we're going to use the bow thruster to show you how if we bow thrust quite considerably and then drag the stern out and bow thrust and stern. We can work the boat across the same space and then obviously bring her back in again. There's a little metal post just outside the window which I'm going to keep roughly as my reference point within the length of the boat so we can see that we're not driving backwards and forwards too far. So we're just having a little experiment here to see how this boat will move sideways if we can. We're on twin out drives so we've obviously got plenty of uh, turning motion available with the wheel and we can do a little bit of wheel to starboard and a click of port ahead and that just kicks our stern away from the pontoon and then we can do a little bit of wheel to port and some starboard astern and that just moves our stern away from the pontoon and those two in combination together with now the bows moving very gently towards port so I can now do a little bit of wheel to port and a starboard ahead that just pushes my bow out, a little bit of wind coming across on my bow, so as I let the bow go further, just let the wind catch that bow there a fraction, the bow's coming around quite nicely now, so now I can do a little click of port ahead, just to straighten up that movement, and again I can do a little bit of wheel to port and a star with a stern, and that also allows me to move the whole boat away gently. And all the time I'm just looking to the side to see am I moving fore and aft and am I happy with what's happening there. So we've moved forward just a bit, so I've got wheel to starboard now. And we'll do a little one of port to stern. That allows me to swing the bow back round again, spin that wheel over to port. Then I want to starboard ahead. That allows me to drive the bow out quite a long way. I'll let it go further than I want. And then we're going to have a little one of wheel to starboard and port ahead and that just kicks the boat round again. So now we've come out nearly a boat width from the quay and other than a touch of bow thruster at the initial moment we're not actually using the thrusters. Now we've got ourselves nicely about one and a half boat widths away from the quay. I'm just going to move her back a fraction as I've crept forward just a bit. just getting our position again so we don't creep too far forward and we'll see if we can put it back on so that'll be against the wind so firstly I'm going to put the wheel to port and do some starboard astern so I drag the stern away and that would allow me to then go wheel to starboard and port ahead to drag the bow back round as the bow comes back round a little breeze just coming across there it's not helping massively because the overall wind is off my starboard side and I'm trying to go to starboard. So again I've got wheel to starboard and port ahead. Start to drive the boat round. It's coming round quite steeply now. A little bit of wheel to port and a starboard ahead to just start to straighten me up. I have one more of those. And now we're going to swap that and we're going to put the wheel all the way over to starboard. And some port astern to drag the stern of the boat back in. Haven't used the thruster yet, but we might in a moment. We'll see how we're doing. Just losing the bow a little bit. Just a little bit of correction there, so I did a little bit of starboard stern to just drag me back a weeny bit. 
and I'm going to do the same thing. Wheel to port, starboard stern, to allow the stern to come out, allowing the bow to go in again. Wheel over to starboard, port ahead. I'm driving the boat across that space. Wheel back to port. Starboard ahead now. Moving the whole boat in that direction against this breeze. It's not a heavy wind, but it's definitely a breeze there. Those two actions gave me some momentum in that direction. We're going to do one more click of wheel to starboard, port ahead. Just a little one. Same with wheel to port, starboard ahead to straighten them up. Got her going sideways nicely now. Let's slow her down. One click now, and we're on. Tiny bit of bow for us to stop my bow bouncing. We've got to come on. So we've gone out a boat and a half width, and we've come back a boat and a half width. So just using the joystick, the moment you press docking, it locks the wheel out. So I've got my post next to me. I'm just going to push the boat very gently to port on the joystick. And I find the best thing of these things is just gently engage and then just hold a very light, steady pressure. And there's my post. And if the joystick steps up well, we've just crept forward a fraction, so we'll just ease ourselves back. And I always think of this line down the middle of the boat, am I parallel? And I'm not bad at all there. We can have a tiny twist to straighten it. And then a little bit more push. And there we are, we've come nicely actually two boat whips out there. We can now happily drive away. If we wanted to go back on, and we're against a slight breeze, so I think the easiest thing is to, again, parallel the boat to the jetty, push gently across, and because we're going against the wind, you always tend to lose the bow a little bit. So here I need to just let go and then do a little twist, just to straighten them up a weeny bit. As you twist, it tends to give it a bit more momentum towards the dock. There's my post. I'm coming in at a nice speed now, not too fast. Just going to do a tiny push away so that the momentum doesn't catch me out. And there she comes on now. Not too bad. Now, I don't know if you can hear the engines clonking in and out of gear, but it sounds quite dramatic. And the joysticks, although they're very good, they do worry me slightly about the long term effect on the gearboxes because it is quite dramatic the in and out of gear. So we did the first one just with the engines, the second one with a joystick. Now let's use a bit of the bow thruster because the bow thruster if you've got one is a fab little tool. So good technique is to give the bow thruster a good positive push to move the bow away. Then steer away from the dock to port and use the starboard engine the stern and that will lift the stern out quite nicely. Makes us go back just a fraction but that's okay. And then we can have another little bow thrust. Again, keep that bow going. And this time, we're going to put the wheel just a bit to starboard and do port ahead, which drives the stern out a bit and also brings us back to where we were. We can have another one of those. And then we can also wheel back to port and then a stern to swing that stern nicely out. Nice little bow thrust. Keep thinking of that parallel line. And that's brought us out pretty nicely, two boat lengths there, with not too much input. The bow thrust is a massive aid in this. To bring her back on, we want to think about how we're going to get the stern in. So wheel towards the dock, outside engine, so port engine, nice click of a stern, that drags that stern in nicely. And now a bow thruster will allow the bow to catch up as well. That stern engine's made the boat move back a wee bit. The momentum of that bow thruster swinging the bow in, so to stop the astern motion and to keep the stern driving in. Wheel back to port and a click of starboard ahead and that will just drive the stern over. We've now got a nice bit of momentum on the stern. Bow's just fairly stable. So a little click with the bow thruster just to keep that whole momentum going. Centre the helm and then as we touch, just a click of stern to actually stop the boat dead. And there we come.